metro levels No dancing with devils, no fellow with rebels Some digging with shovels, they digging, they digging, they digging real deep Some humble, they harking, they listen, they me Some praise the most high seven days of the week Some put in that work and go teach in the streets Some just come to take up the air that we breathe Some come just to take up the space that we need Their spiritual levels, their spiritual levels They come in on shapes and the suns and their several Everyone loves you, you can't be doing the right thing. Alright? Come in a word, brother and sister. Give us a second. How y'all doing? Y'all believe in the Bible? Oh yeah. 100%. Yes, 100%. Now let me ask you a question. Now based on all the knowledge and all things you accumulated in your life. As far as you know, where did you come from? Hmm? As far as you know, where did you come from? Well, the white man tells me that I'm from Africa, but I don't think so, so. Okay. What about you, brother? Oh, uh, I think, I mean, God created me. Maybe. Now, do you think it's important to learn where you came from? So, do you think it's a problem with all the history, all the, all the, the whole life, what, you know, so you went to school, and they taught you everything, what, taught you what they think you to be everything, right? But why does your history start in 1619 when you came to the Why don't they tell you before 16? Why don't, why, don't, why don't we know what, what we used to wear, how we used to speak, what language we spoke? Um, I got the worst. No. Okay, what was it? What is it? Um, oh, I, where the is. I'm trying to tell people where it is. Where the real is. That's where the real tell. Jews. Yeah, that's, that's literally our message. We're the real Jews. Like Jewish people, that's why they do it. You're not the real Jews. We're the real Jews. Yes, yeah. it's true. And we're, we're going to show you it's true. Give it to the Roman 28. All right, 28 and 15. So 28 and 15. All right. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Right. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God is talking to us. He, she just so she spilled all the beans. But I'm finna I'm finna show you what it's really. It's, 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 everything she's saying is true. So God's talking to us, and He's told us if we don't listen, things are gonna happen to us. Keep reading. To so observe, to do all His commandments and His statutes, which I commanded thee this day. Right. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. So God said if we didn't listen, all the curses are gonna come upon thee. Give me verse forty-six. Forty-six. Right. And they shall be upon thee for a son. What does it say? And they shall be upon thee for a son. These curses will be upon you for a son. Read. And for a wonder, right? And upon thy seed forever. So even now, you're going to be able to know who you are based off the curses, based off what God said would happen to you if you didn't listen. Now, keep reading. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God right? with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Now, God is telling us because we didn't serve Him, what we're we going to have? For the abundance of all things. Right? Therefore, should I serve thy enemies? Now, God said we're going to serve our enemies. Now, I'm sure you know the history. The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they all have the same history, right? Slavery, uh, and always at the bottom, always uh, last, last hire, first fire. You know the history, you don't have to get into it. We're the only people on the streets marching for equality. Everyone else ain't doing it because mm -hmm. no one else needs to. Can you read? It says, there, so, fuck you. it says, Therefore, should I serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger? <laughs> and hunger and in thirst. Right, so if you want something to eat, where do you get your food from, bro? Now, it gets that to the kitchen. Where? How'd you get it to the kitchen? Kill it. So you kill your food faster. Oh, you go to the grocery store. Now, who owns the grocery store, bro? The white man. Okay, and they said in thirst. You want something to drink? Where you go get your drinks from? The white man. Where you pay your water bill to? The white man. Keep reading. And then naked. The clothes you got on your back. We're just, even if we do our own thing, we didn't know. Put our own, who, who owns the textile? Who owns the White cotton? Man. Polyester? Go ahead. Kiri. <laughs> and a wall of all what things. What did you just say? You just said he owns everything. God said, and, and a wall of, of all, all things. things. So if you want a house, you want a car, you want to get a license, you want to get anything in the society, you're going to have to go to the same people that God put over, put over you for this. And he should put a yoke of iron. What does it say? And he should put a yoke of iron. Now say what? And he should put a yoke 
of iron upon thy neck what? until he have destroyed thee. Now, God said we'll put yokes of iron upon our neck until we are destroyed. Do we have yokes of iron upon our neck right now? What does that mean? We're destroyed, iron. We're destroyed. I mean, because the first question I ask you is where, where do you come from? What's your true history? Where do you, where do you, that's, that's destruction. In fact, that's the main goal of any people that wants to come to you. They want to erase all your history. Erase all the things you know I about yourself. I got my ancestry done. Yeah. And it was like, it was like 30% um, Mali, 20 some percent Nigerian, some some Congo. It was just all this mixture of like West African like right. areas. But it's like, who were my people for real? For like, who was my family? What was my, what was my, what was my culture? Who, who's my great, 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 great grandparents? I don't know. What oh. was my name before the white man gave me a name, Graham? Listen. And, and that, this is the thing, we would be fools to go to the same people that has done all, <laughs> has confused us so much right. and think that they're going to give us the correct nationality who we really are. Oh, you, you really are the Israelites. <laughs> you think they're going to give us a paper and say, oh, you're the chosen people of God. No, they, they're going to say you're everything. In fact, mm -hmm. people don't send a swag from dogs and dogs come back Native American. They, look, they don't, they're just giving you things. It's a come up, right? Um, but they're selling you a dream. Because they know we want to know where we come from. But 49. It says, The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from right. afar, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies. So God's going to bring that nation against us, like you've been prophesied. You already know said who the nation was. Can you read? A nation whose tongue thou should not understand. We didn't speak English when we first came over here. Can you read? What's up, brother? It says, A nation of fierce countenance. We should not regard the person of old, right. nor show favor to the young. They don't care about the young, they don't care about the old, they still get shot and killed. Nothing is really changing. They just change the way they do it. Right? Can you read? It says, And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle, right. and the fruit of thy field. So, when we were in slavery, everything we got, who do we have to give it to? When we're in the plantation, did we get to eat out of wheat? Did we get to eat of the corn? Who do we give it to? The white man. We had to give it to him, right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 54. Listen, listen, this is another thing. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. God said, God said that our eyes will be evil towards each other. This is another curse. That means we're going to hate each other. We're going to kill each other. We're going to rob each other. Everything you see that's popularized in this society. All those gang, all exactly. Those you know. This is true, Kiri. And towards the wife of his bosom. We lead in domestic violence. The man getting into it with the woman, right? Kiri. And towards the remnant of his children. You got a key and listen. God said towards the remnant of his children, Kiri. And towards the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. Which he shall what? Which he shall lead. Now who grows up with the highest rate of no father in the house? This is what God said. This is thousands of years ago. And he told him exactly what's going to befall his people. This before it happened. Can you read? That's how I know it's true. Right. Can you read? You keep uh, 55 or? No, uh, uh, no, I won't. Uh, yeah. But, hold on, get that for us. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 32. Right? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Right? And thy eyes shall look. And thy eyes shall look and bear broken of them all in their own. Right? And there shall be no might in thy hand. So you see, I don't know if you've seen the movies where uh, you got the mother when our child goes to that plantation and the other child and the other child goes to that plantation and the whole family split up, they would want to be together, but there's nothing they can do. This is prophesying. We be the one where it's, you know, um, um, where they would, um, I think it's 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 37. 37. Oh, here you go. Go ahead, man. This yeah. is a... Uh, uh, oh, yeah. How about even one of y'all? Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Right. And thou should be an astonishment. That's, it would be an astonishment. Astonishment is when people look upon you and they're like, God, these people always going through hell. That's how everyone looks at us. We're an astonishment. Can you read? A proverb and a byword. A proverb and a byword. That's other names. is not your name. Right? So that's why they call us african American. Color, Negro, Afro American. Why is our name the only people that's always changing? Right? We got so many different nationalities and names they give us. That's because they don't want us to ever figure out our true nationality. They don't want us to ever figure out where we really come from. Give me verse 68. 
the dude. Listen to this. This is the nail in the coffin. This is the cherry on top of the cake. I don't know where they put cherries on. <laughs> Alright, this is that's, Deuteronomy. That's, that's ice cream. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Right. It says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. No, God said he's going to bring Israelites into Egypt again. What were the Israelites going to Egypt the first time? Yeah. He was building the pyramids, right? He's like oppression. Now, God said, there's no, there's no history where the Israelites went back to the actual land of Egypt. He's talking about another place, right? He's just telling you that they're going to be in the same conditions of Egypt. You can read Deuteronomy 6 and 12 and then tell you. Give, give me Deuteronomy 6 and 12 really quick. That's where the Moses took them away, right? Right. Deuteronomy 6 and 12. I just want to show you that the Egypt doesn't just mean the actual land of Egypt. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 12. Right. Right. Well, let's forget the Lord who brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So Egypt is considered the house of bondage. Right, so when God is saying Egypt, he's saying bondage here in this case. And we're going to prove it with what happens. Read it. All right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. What is Egypt? Bondage. Bondage. Slavery. Kiri. With ships. With what? With ships. Yes. Now, how do we get over there? Ships. Who else could this be talking about? Am I, am I tripping? Are these brothers tripping? No. Are we, are we, are we misreading something? It's got to be talking about it. Now, now we know that who we are. There's certain requirements that God has. We can't keep living the way we've been living. We can't be living the way that we were taught up through public school and through the mainstream of society to serve our God. Because our God comes with conditions, right? This, and our God is a separate God, right? Bring me out Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Are you, you about to get preached up? All right. Oh, yeah. Get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We have the uh, thing. Oh, okay, 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 all right, okay. But Look thank the, you guys email, so much. You email in the YouTube on them. Okay. Right. Brother, you listening there? Yeah. Okay, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. All right. But thou art a holy people. God says that we are holy people. Holy means separate, set apart, not the same, different. Can you read? Until the Lord thy God. All right. The Lord thy God had chosen these. He's chosen us. Three. To be a special people. A what? A special right. people. We're special. Can't you tell we're special, man? Nobody can do nothing like us. We're the best cooks, the best athletes, the best anything you name it. We, we the best. What do you mean? <laughs> Come on now. Anything. Best rubbish, or Until himself. Best. Right? Above all people. What did God say? Above all people. No, I thought God said everyone was equal. God said that we're above all people. Keep reading. That are upon the face of the earth. That's it. We both said it be so many of us will become strangers. Yeah, we, we definitely have became strangers. Yeah. But we came strangers through our disobedience. Yeah. yeah. And through our disobedience, um, God has fulfilled the word that He told us was going to happen. Yeah. He fulfilled it. So now we now we're at the point where we got to come back. God. Yeah. So you seem like you know a little bit. Yeah. See. Now, see. Like the part we said about love, they they, they, they they separated us, so the love would be dead. Like you say, now we we gotta we gotta we gotta think it back up. So right. We gotta do is just reunite. Right. Re Re we gotta reunite, but we gotta reunite under something. Yeah, under because something. what it mean? It, it, it has to be the truth. Because we don't try to unite plenty of times, yeah. and it never works out. Why? Because we keep reuniting under doctrines that's not the truth. We keep reuniting under something that's not God's word. Okay, let, and right. no, Give me um Second John verse six. Subscribe under God's plan. Right, we got you. Now we're gonna show you what that love is. Um, and give Second me John, and you you must consider yourself loving God, right? Yes. First John five and three. Come on. And y'all got free subs after that. Bring it up. Bring it up. All right. This is uh Second John in verse six. Right. It says, and this is love. What does it say? It says, and this you is love. You said we got unifying the love. God says, and this is love. Can you read? That we walk after his commandments. So loving is when we walk after his commandments. If I love my brother, I'm not going to kill my brother. If I love my brother, I'm not going to rob my brother. If I love my brother, I'm not going to wait on him to get off work so I can shoot him. If I love my brother, I'm not going to uh, uh, take his wife and, 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 and lay down with his wife. These are all qualities that God's given us. If I love my brother, I'm not going to have my brother eat pork or shrimp. Or lobster things God said for us not to eat. I'm not gonna if I love my brother. I'm not gonna have him celebrate Christmas and Thanksgiving. Yeah. These are pagan holidays. He's yeah. not in the Bible. Yeah. If I love my brother. I'm gonna tell him to keep the Passover. Yeah. I'm gonna tell him to keep the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Yeah. I'm gonna tell him to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. Yeah. I'm gonna tell him to do things that are pleasing unto God, 
Not things God has already showed us time after time that he hates, that he detests. You know? He said, don't quit the law. He said, just know that if you call them out the name, you're going to have to worry about it. Well, well, that's the thing. We got to follow out yeah, this that's right. That's it. So, that's, that's, I'm repeating right. what you're saying and breaking right. it down. Right. You know? Right. Right. You want to do something with people? I know. But Romans chapter 30. And it should come to pass on all these things that come upon thee the curses and the, the blessings and the curses which I have set before thee. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations where the whether the Lord their God has driven thee. Right, so God is basically what what you're seeing right now is fulfilling these verses right here. God said we're gonna call to mind everything we've done. Right here is what we're doing. We're calling to mind the consequences and we're calling to mind the things we've done and we're accepting the consequences. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta make the change. Yes, right. right now is the repentance. Yes, right. Um yes. okay. return unto the Lord their God. And shall obey his voice. Now we gotta return it to him and obey his voice, you read? According to all I have commanded thee this day. Not according, because a lot of our people they try to deal with that and then they try to do their own thing. No, it's according to all that he written that day. All the things, these law statutes, commandments, all his words, we gotta do them. They still in effect. Christ didn't take away the commandments. He came he came and showed you how to do it. Yeah. But that then the Lord God will. We have turned their captivity. Then he's gonna do what? Turn their captivity. Then we won't be here in America. We won't be out here having a march. You know, <laughs> out here wow. praying to the white man give us this. No, man, we ain't gotta do that no more. God just said we're above all people upon the face of the earth. Yeah. Can you read? And have compassion upon thee. Then he's gonna have compassion. Compassion comes when you God has given us a way out. And the way out begins uh. with us following him. Not doing our own thing, not thinking that we know, because your heart is deceitful above all things. Right. Every a man thinks he, uh, every man thinks he's doing the right thing. I never met a man. Some of them might admit, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, I'm tripping right now. But a lot of them are gonna tell you, hey, hey, I'm good, man. I'm doing good. I ain't told me the brothers came up here and said they 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 not good. Most of them say they good, right? Can you read? And we we'll return and gather thee from all the nations. Where the Lord God has scattered thee. Then he's going to return and gather us up from all the nations and scatter us. Right? And we're going to go back to our home. Can you read? Right. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourself together. What does it say? Gather, gather yourself together. together. Yeah, gather together. O nation not desire. Right? Before what? Before the decree bring forth. Right, so we, we gather together now before... These things that God has already said is going to happen, the death, the destruction, the fire, the pestilence, all the things he's promised to happen to America and all the other lands, right? Can you read? Before the day pass at the child, right? before the fierce anger of the Lord comes upon you. Right. So we got to get right while it's a chance to get right. Right? And that's what we out here doing. Um, Matthew 19 and 17. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Right. There is none good but one, that is God. And that's the, that's the Messiah himself. Yeah. And he's not calling himself good. The only way, way we're going to be good, like you say, is to be good with him. Right. So we got we, so we got to get off the high horse that a lot of our people are on. A lot of our people think, they, like I said, they're straight and they're good. But even Christ himself, he did everything perfect. And he said, Is that the, no one good but the Father? Right. So. We got a high uh, peak that to reach for, right? Yeah. And that's what we got to do. It'll be good according to your outer self and your inner self. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, exactly. I like that. So, it's, uh, I was on, yeah, yeah you got to, get my father. Uh, give me, um, uh, give me Sarah, five and seven. So, no, actually, before we get there, we're going to the law. So, you familiar? Give me Leviticus eleven and seven. Hmm. Are you familiar? God has given us commandments on what we should eat. Yeah. Do you know what they are? Uh, I don't know exactly what they are, but I know like pork and all that. We're supposed to do away with. We're gonna show you. We started eating that, just dealing with the struggle we went through. Right. Uh, we had to kill and right. eat. You know what I'm saying? We shook it up. We made it nice and we made it work. We prayed. That's when the prayer come in. Right. We prayed. But blessing. not only did we eat that because of the struggle we went through. We ate those things because a lot of the people that put us in captivity knew who we were. Yeah. And they keep us in sin for a reason. Yeah. 
once you're in sin and you stay in sin, that's a way that they, they, they try to prohibit the blessings from God. But they can't. These things are already written down. It's, it's going to happen. It's going. But. All right. This is Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. Right. And the swine, though he divided the hook right. and be clover for them, yet he chewed not the cut, he is unclean to you. Right. So swine is unclean. Swine is the pig. Huh. Can't eat pig. As a matter of fact, it's going to tell you you can't even touch his carcass. If a dead pig lying there, you got to sort of let it do its thing. You got to let the, <laughs> all the, uh, the creeping things on the earth eat it up. You can't touch it. Go ahead. Of their flesh shall you not eat. Of their flesh shall you not eat, Kiri. And their carcass shall you not touch. And your carcass, you can't, you can't touch the carcass. You gotta let it sort of do its thing, Kiri. They are unclean to you. They are what? They are unclean to you. They are unclean. God's emphasizing. They're unclean to you. You think he has to do that with our people? He has to emphasize a lot. Well, because our people, what do they love? They love uh, pork rinds. They love uh, <laughs> a barbecue, a fat back, uh, chitlins. <laughs> Big feet. <laughs> Big feet. Pig, one thing said pig ears. I ain't never even heard of that. Pig ear sandwich. You remember pig ear sandwich? Yeah, yeah. I ain't never even heard of that. Right, right, right. Like you were saying. He was saying that's the thing that we was eating when we was just. Go ahead. All right. They are unclean to you. What? These shall you eat in the water. This is what you can eat that's in the water. Whatsoever have fins and scales. What? In the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers. Them shall you eat. So everything you eat in the rivers and the waters has to have fans and scales. Can you read? It says all that not fluck it. All that have not fins and scales in the seas and the rivers, all that move in the waters, any of the any of the living thing which are in the waters, they should be an abomination unto you. What should they be? They should be an abomination unto you. God said this be an abomination unto you, Kareem. God says that you can't eat. So let's just go through the list. What things don't have fins and scales? Catfish. Catfish don't have. They got they got us uh, fins, but they don't have scales. Shark meat and shark. You can't eat a uh, lobster, shrimp, um, alligator. These, all those things are contrary. All those things are abominable foods. And here in this here in this earth. They're held on the high, highest thing. Eleven. I'll go eleven. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right, eleven. It says, They shall be an abomination unto you. Right. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, right. but ye shall have their carcass in abomination. So even that carcass is an abomination. These are things that are roaches. Of the sea. You know, a, a shark is a roach. It look like a roach. Come here, bro. They're the roaches of the sea. Brothers, come in to work. Or ignore us. Anyways, like we said, these things like shrimp, lobster, clams, oysters, they are they you they you they use for filtration. They use the they are the roaches of the sea. They are the um what other things uh you know the, uh, the other little yeah. things they're the scavengers, right? They're the things that eat poop and eat dead bodies and they clean up clean the ocean up. So you're not supposed to eat those. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I Job 14 and 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean thing? Not one. No, so, you know how people that's how I say, well, let me throw a little prayer in there. <laughs> no. God has said, you can't make a clean thing uh, unclean. And you can't make an unclean thing clean. You just can't do it. And that's the same thing for another abomination or unclean thing, homosexuality. That's against God's law. Right? So, in God... And God calls homosexuality an abomination. abomination. So the same way he calls homosexuality an abomination is the same way he's saying that you eat shrimp, crab, and lobster is an abomination. Right. So you got to have that same energy. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of Christians out there, they're, they're quick to tell you, oh, that's wrong. Uh, uh, they'll tell you, homosexuality is not in the Lord. But you start talking about shrimp, crab, and lobster, say, hold on now, brother. Those <laughs> things, hey, whatever sown in the shambles, brother, whatever. they start going into that, right? But God is telling you, and God does not what? God doesn't change. Malachi 3 and 6. He doesn't change. Keep reading. Oh, there's no that. Yeah, I got one more arm. Okay. James 2 and 14. What doth it profit, my breath? Though the man he saith, he, um, say he hath faith, right. he have no works. Right. Can faith save him? Right. You, 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 a lot of people think they can just have a connection with God or whatever they think is a connection to God or they faith in God and not distribute any works. A work is not 
eating that shrimp. Personal relationship. That's, yeah, that's a personal relationship. The work is not um, uh, doing the things that he told you not to do. That's what it, that's what you do. How can I say I love my father? Every time my father tell me something, I say, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, I, 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 I'm kicking over stuff. I'm bad. You know, <laughs> every time he asks me to clean, I'm throwing dirt everywhere. Yeah. You don't really love him. You can say you love him, but your actions not showing forth that love. Uh -huh. Right? That's what we're trying to show you. Keep, um, it's more than that. Basically saying, like, I got, um, I got another piece of Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the, or the prophets. I have not come to destroy it, but to build. Right, so a lot of, um, and if you can to it before you down, I mean, or something like that. So a lot of Christians, they read that scripture. I think it's like 2 or 4 down. A lot of Christians, they read that scripture and they're like, oh, see, we ain't got to keep the laws no more. God's laws are. They're trying to say the laws are fulfilled. But that's not what he said. He said, don't think that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I came not to destroy, but to fulfill. So he's fulfilling the law. The law is Deuteronomy. The law is uh, the Torah, what we just read to you. He's fulfilling his place in the book. All right, now, brother. All right, now, brother. He's fulfilling his place in the book. I'm watching you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, go ahead. For verily I say unto you, so heaven and earth pass. Right. One jot or one title shall in one way or one wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled. Right, so no one is passing from that law. No one. That means, has everything been fulfilled yet? Has Christ came back? Has the, uh, all the seals been on? Have all these things been fulfilled? No. So that means we have to still follow God's law. We just do it with a new mindset, understanding that we have forgiveness for our sins. Right? That's, that's that's what Christ came for. He's the ultimate sacrifice for forgiveness. Not a um, sacrifice for sin. He's not a sacrifice to go ahead and start sinning again. He was sacrificed for us to get forgiven for our transgressions. You see what I'm saying? It's more than that, is it? Huh? Oh, by five, Luke 2? Yeah, Luke 2, 40, 40, I can't tell you what you came to feel. Yeah. Yeah. It's Luke 2. Um, give me uh, oh, you're talking about the Isaiah now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you're trying to do, right? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So it's still the Lord? I guess. Um, I think it's Acts 2. It's Acts 2. Acts 2, I think. And, uh, Go ahead, Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 16. You know, but by fire and by his sword, for the most high plead with all flesh, right. and slain of the most high shall be many. Right. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree, right. in the midst, eating slime flesh, and an abomination and mild. So God is saying when he comes back, all the people that's caught, all the abominations we spoke about. Pork, swine. He's, this is what's gonna happen to him, right? Shall be consumed together. Shall be what? Shall be consumed yeah. together. Said the most high. Said who? Said the, the most, most high. high. When you call eating those things, God said you're gonna be consumed, destroyed. And he takes it serious. Um, I found it. Give me Acts 10 and 43. What? Acts 10 and 43. Give me Acts 3 and 18. Acts chapter 10. Verse 43. To him give all the to him gave all the prophet. Gave all the prophet the witness. To him gave all the prophets witness, can you read? That through his name, whosoever believed in him shall receive remission of sin. So listen, this is the point. He is the fulfillment of that. He's fulfilling his part in the law. He's gonna show you in Luke 24 and 44. Bring it out. Okay. Luke chapter 24, verse 44. Right. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you. Right. This that, is all, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. So that's what he means by fulfill. It's not fulfilling the laws and the laws getting done away with. He's fulfilling that place in the book. So that's another mainstream delusion of people that are going to get actually. 
Acts 3 and 18. But those things which God before had so soon by the mouth of all this of all his prophets that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. Mm. So he's fulfilling those things, all the things that was written. So that means you still gotta keep these laws. He came in the form of man to show us how it is to be fulfilled. Well no, he didn't come in the form of man. That's a, so that's another thing we have to deal with. Do you think Christ is God? I believe he. I, I believe he was God. You believe he's God? Yeah. Now, let, yeah, I'm not. I'm not even Christian. I just feel that he was his spirit. But he, but he, he spoke. And after who he was, he said, he said, "This is not me. I don't think you should be doing this. Not me. This is my father." Right. And, 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 and it's like you That's the God in you. Right. So you said if it wasn't me, it was the Father. How could he then be God? He, he basically let you know that if you walk in his spirit, then you're doing the But I'm saying, how could he be God if you said it ain't me, it's the Father? How could he be God? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If he, if he was God, who would he pray to? Why would he need to? Why would Christ need to pray if he was God? That makes no sense. <laughs> Go ahead, y'all. I know you got some precepts on that. Oh, y'all yeah, got one. Revelation, chapter 3, yeah. verse 12. Right. Him that overcometh when I make a pillar in the temple of my God. So Christ said, him that overcomes, he's going to make a pillar in the temple of his God. How can he be God then if he's saying, I'm going to make a, a pillar in the temple of my God? Can you read? And he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God. Mm, here again, my God. He's calling... The Father, His God, which means there is no such thing as a trinity. All these things are made. These are, um, because look, I'm gonna tell you this, bro. I, you gotta be really diligent and really focused on what you say. Because if you say Christ is God, no, I'm you, not saying it. Yeah. No, no, I'm not. Even, I'm not even talking about what you say. I'm saying I we have as a people. That we do, you can, you can, you can be God or you can be ungodly. You know what I'm saying? The things that you do is what that's letting your light shine. The light will redeem. Right. You know what I'm saying? That light is life. Right. You know what I mean? Like, like, without, and that's what I'm saying. Die, we drop. Right. You know, a lot of people, they, they, they don't even believe in him, but don't even know that at the end of the day, it's him while they're standing. You know what I'm saying? He's the reason they're standing. They're, right. They're, 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 and that's the thing. We can't, we can't mistake being godly as being God. Yes. Right. Because that's a, because then we'll be committing idolatry. Yeah. Yeah. Then we'll be making, then we start worshiping Christ as God. Yeah. When Christ is telling you, no, 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 I'm, there's nothing yeah. good, but the brothers is ready. He can say there's nothing good, but the father. Yeah. He's clearing it up. Cause yeah. why? He and knew. Then, and then you know another way you can you can prove that he wasn't because like remember when uh, when they went the woman who came to the adultery. Right. And he said the first who, who have not uh, seen be the first stone. Right. Nobody stoned her. Then he looked up. He said, "Well, good. Neither do I." Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He let you know right then. Like right. y'all got the wrong guy. And then when he started marking that, let you know he was like. But that's, I mean. that's the thing. <laughs> he, he obviously was God's son that was sent yeah. to show us and go through the same thing we go through, yeah. but do it perfect. He didn't yeah. he didn't mess up like us. Yeah. Like he did it perfectly. Never seen him at night. And the, and, the, the and the reason why he said those things is because he knew just like every great man that ever lived, Nasus not only just Christ. But nations have a um, a history of worshiping great men, right? Uh, when they see people that did great things, they want to call him God. Let's worship this guy. He did all type of stuff. Yeah. So that's why he's telling you, no, 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 no. I'm not. Because if we do that, like Christians do, they'll say Christ is God. That's the first. You already are starting off in the wrong foot because you're already committing idolatry. Yeah. You're already worshiping somebody that's not God. Yeah. When he was sent from, that's crazy. Why would you worship that's like worshiping a tree. Yeah. Why would you worship the things he created, the things he made? Worship him. See, what's good, then when it came to him, was, he knew things that they, they knew he wasn't supposed to, they thought he wasn't supposed to know. Because remember, he was like, what did he written in y'all's law? Right. The most painted to y'all that y'all keep. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? He was like, so the description should not be changed. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? So they were like, how did you know that? Right. Like, you know what I mean? So that's what scared him up. But he was letting him know that it's not me speaking to you. He let you know God, he just took over right there. Right. Like, he, he can do that. He can die. Definitely. Can, can, like how he's jumping in you and he's speaking right now. He definitely does. Yeah. Because what you got to keep in mind, we not we read his words. Yeah. This ain't me just, yeah, yeah, you know, we're doing, <laughs> this ain't our stopped. thing. Like stopped. you just said, this ain't us. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. That's why you know I stopped. I was like, this guy. Yeah. 
Go ahead, bro. Hey, Jeremiah 422, my people is foolish. What does it say? Not... Go ahead, bring it on here. My people is foolish. Can you read? They have not known me. Mm. Uh, they have Scottish, um, they are Scottish children. And they have none understanding. That's the thing, our people, they're foolish. Right, they believe anything they've been told. That's why we're in the situation we are. Yeah. No, you better not smoke no cigarettes in front of me. Well, I gotta smoke. You talk all the way. I You start taking a double step back. I said, what? <laughs> he got a whole formation for smoking a cigarette. Hey, but at least I had the respect. At least I had the respect. I'm stepping up. But you're above all people on the, face, on the face of the earth, man. you the chosen people. Why smoke the white man's poison? Why, why, why be a partaker of the poison he giving you? Can't defile the temple. You're defiling it. These are things that these are things that I don't expect you to change overnight. Yeah. But you gotta, you gotta, oh, you gotta do it like overnight. And I, and I, and I, oh, I know what y'all speaking to me because I done heard something tell me I need to stop smoking. You know what I mean? So right. This, this guy let me but, know right but just now. Just think about this. Right. This is what he stopped me we, for right we, now. We, we, we followers, we, we followers of Christ, right? Yeah. You, you think tobacco didn't exist in, in Christ's time? Oh. You don't think it? You don't think it existed? Yeah, I believe back up in here since the beginning. Right, so you think Christ... Ain't nothing new on the sun. Listen, uh -oh. you, you, you think a vision you think Christ was up, put his foot on the corner, hey, y'all better keep the command yeah. smoking a cigarette. No, we gotta be Christ-like. Yeah. We gotta follow out the hill. Because yeah. the moment we do that, our credibility goes down. Because we all we don't fall for a trick, you know? Book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God, the temple shall God destroy. Right. For the temple of God is holy, which temple is are. Mm. So God has given us the things we should do to keep our body right. He said we should get um, um eat things, the bear seed, you know, we should eat the fruits from the earth, eat eat uh all the things he told us to eat, the right foods that he told us to eat, the right yeah. uh, meat to eat, he's giving us away. Yeah. He didn't say, okay, he, when he said herbs, when he said marijuana, or when he said um, tobacco, he didn't say roll it up and smoke it. <laughs> That's not what he said. Yeah. Eat. Eat. Used to eat. Hey, the Lord give you things to eat. Yeah, you're right. Right? Yeah. So, bring, bring it up. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Y'all hold it up? I got this John chapter 14, verse 28. You have heard how I say unto you, I go until I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you will rejoice. Because I say, I go unto the Father. Right? For my Father is greater than I am. Here we, here we see again Christ saying that his Father's greater than him. So if he's saying his Father's greater than him, he's greater a, than there is I. no greater than I. There is no trinity. Because the whole basis of the trinity is all of the men co-equal. The Father, the Son, all the Spirit, all equal to each other. They all work together and all one. That's what they say. If you want to do like, um, like, like, what do you have with it? One plus one plus one plus one is, can't be one. Yeah, it can't be one. <laughs> they ain't never had it. You, if you put that, if you put that on some homework, one plus one plus one plus one, and, and, and what the teacher going to tell you? That's wrong. Right? If you say it's one, they don't add up. So we gotta we gotta start for not only reading it but focusing in and doing it. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. But, yeah. All right. This is Daniel chapter seven and verse thirteen. It says, And I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came uh, to the ancient of days. Right. And they brought him near before him. Right. And there was given him dominion. And glory and kingdom that all people, nations, and tongues and language shall serve him. So here, here we know it's another cut, right? Because here we see the the Son of Man comes to the ancient of days. Ancient of days is the most high God, right? And he's receiving from God the authority to rule over the whole earth. So he can't be God if he has to receive something from his God. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Second Timothy two and fifteen. Study um study to show thyself approved by God. Come in the word, brother. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Right. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Right. So you gotta be, you gotta study to show yourself approved. You gotta be on top. 
It's like, we use an example all the time, uh, the best football, the best basketball players you see, they work on their craft all the time. So you got to work on your craft all the time. You got to be in this work. This is what matters. If they did all that for, uh, they did all that for a trophy, for something that you can throw and it breaks, how much more should you do for the most high God? The one who <laughs> made, made us out of nothing, out of dirt. Like you got to, you got to, you got to do your thing really, man. Right? But for John chapter 19 and verse 11, right. Jesus answered, Thou couldn't have no power at all against me, except if it were given to thee from above. Right. Therefore, he delivered unto thee. It's like, therefore, he that delivered me unto the thee, bro. the greatest sin. Right. So here he's saying that, and they can't do nothing to him unless it was given from above. Yeah, exactly. Because if he would say, I, if he was God, he said, I'm not doing it to y'all niggas now. No. You, you can't do nothing to him. Unless God allows you that. You know what I'm saying? Man, look, I got the uh, push on through. I'm on the bike. You got a fire, brother? Um, you get a fire? Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay. Right, right. Email on there. Yeah, yeah. I got the phone number. Uh, I don't got no phone. I don't got no phone. I'm working on trying to get going down. Okay. Well, you got the email on there. Did you get on the you got email on there. In the library, yeah, so like, bro. we here every Friday and Saturday, bro. We have a great day.